excited for your first day of school. Yeah, we're off. Oh, we are off to school. In Guatemala, the buses that get you around are actually uh, school buses from the US. That's what I'm talking about. That's a chicken bus right there. They do them up like they're, uh, they're ready for a derby. <laughs> That's a demolition derby chicken bus. <laughs> Josh. Yes. What a beautiful little town. It's absolutely stunning. Absolutely. But would you uh, tell them why we're here? Who are we going to see? Uh, we're going to see Saint Simon and Samson Hill. Simon. Simon. No. Samson. <laughs> Take two. So we are in this town to visit who? Saint Simon. And that is an evil saint they pray to here, and they go to his house where. There's a model scale replica of him sitting in a chair and they give him cigarettes and alcohol. And uh, we're gonna go around this town and find the house of Sam Simon. Let's go. Let's go. Um, is it just me or is everyone tiny? I genuinely feel like massive. I tower over these people. You're right, you're right. Donde la casa de Sam Simon. Sam Simon. Sam Simon, yeah. Allá arribita, donde está el cementerio. Cementerio. Donde el cementerio. Hasta allá arriba, como un, un kilometro. We're this much closer to Sam Simon. We'll make it. We'll, we'll make it. We'll make it. Yeah. We'll find the boy. Josh, we're clearly lost. We are clearly the lost. The cemetery is right there. Yeah. And we're not there. Wow. Hola. Or she'll just give it to us. How do you say lost? Lost though. We are muy lost though. Eora. And if you look to the hills, that right there is the big volcano we climbed yesterday. Oh, yeah. That looks enormous. That looks massive. It took us five hours to get up there. Honestly, look at this. Guatemala is just a mysterious place. We're surrounded by volcanoes where people go and chant and do prayers. And we're looking for an evil god that we're gonna give cigarettes and beer to. In this colorful cemetery. Hola amigos. Donde la casa de Sam Simon? Sam Simon? Down there? Okay. Gracias. Gracias. We have what we need. Oh. Oh, they do. oh no, this is this is this is his place here. What? This is his place. La Casa de Sam Simon as he comes. Sin que sale entra. Sin que sale. Okay. Uh don't aquí sí, aquí. No, 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 but pero pero compro uh cigarettes y uh alcohol. Aquí? aquí? Dos, por favor. Gracias. Cigarettes y uh Kill. Alcohol, Sam Simon Gusta. Eso es bien. Es uh, sí. el favorito? Sí, es el ganado. ¿Cuánto para eso? Treinta. Treinta? Oh, we're here anyways. Ah, sí. Tre sí, eso? Buying this for an evil god. ¿Y uh, fumar? Un, yeah, dos. Gracias. Ok. Y uh, so, treinta... ¿Cuánto? Treinta y cuatro. Treinta y cuatro. Ok, gracias. What is going on? I'd say we take a sip and then we give the rest to, to Simon. To Simon, to Simon, yeah, Simon. Okay. Hey y'all, so I just wanted to take this time to talk about some of the mythology behind San Simon. So his worship began at the Spanish conquest of the Maya in his modern character. It's said to be a blend of several biblical and Mayan figures such as Judas, Saint Peter, and Mum. So Mum Relage, or Relage Mum, he encouraged a rebellion against the Spanish, but he was soon executed. Uh, he was said to be reincarnated actually as a judge named Don Simon, and he fought with the native Mayans for the people of Guatemala. 
This is just the main mythology I found for Sun Simon, but some other funny mythology I heard was that he was hired out by fishermen to protect their wives while they're away fishing. And instead of doing that, he would disguise himself as the husbands and actually sleep with the wives. And I'm sorry throughout this video that I kept referring to him as an evil saint. After some research, I come to realize he's really not that evil. He just seemed like a guy who liked to smoke, he liked to drink, and occasionally he would fondle his fellow villagers' wives. <laughs> Smoke up, Sam. They're great. Look at how plastered this guy gets in a day. How many cigarettes and alcohol he gets as gifts in one day mm -hmm. is insanity. His liver's gonna be done in and his lungs are gonna be done in. Right. <laughs> what happens if this guy is actually from Night at the Museum? And every single night, he just wakes up plastered out of his mind because of how, many, how much alcohol and cigarettes they've given him. <laughs> My word! Do you actually realistically want to go up to his ear and, and say some things? Some like some of our, our wishes and prayers and desires? What should I say? Beats me, dude. Keep it to yourself. Hmm. What, do you, what do you wish for? A nice body? Or like a Latino body? That's a good point, yeah. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll make some constructive work. Okay. That was one of the most craziest things I've ever experienced in my life. I absolutely agree. Regardless of who this guy was and what his significance is, these people and the ritual they have with him and what they give to him is just something I've never seen in my entire life. That was awesome. So the reason, apparently, why they give them, him cigarettes is because it cures amnesia and the ash protects people from thieves. Um, that didn't really feel real, if I'm honest. Me either. Nothing like I've ever seen. But I told you guys we were going to do some crazy stuff while we were here in Guatemala. This is only our third day, only our third episode, and we already said prayers to an evil cult god. So guys, if you want some more absolute craziness, you better subscribe, join us. Guatemala is going to be absolutely unreal. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. Good stuff.